Hello my friends and welcome back to our continued let's play of the casting of Frank Stone from the world of Dead by Daylight. My name is the Fellas Bird, this is your Starbase Given channel, and today we continue our redemption run. Where we try to make sure that we get the best possible results. Not really worried about difficulty, worried more about story and story divergencies. Uh, if we look at the cutting room floor at the moment, the... We're missing this spot right here. After we pick up our friend, which is weird. And we're also missing this spot right here where the before the furnace. But besides that, we've gotten everything else. So let's continue on to see what more we can unlock. I hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic day today. You just don't get it, do you? You think we're weak? That we're nothing? You make me sick. <laughs> I love the music here. <laughs> There's just one thing you bastards will just never understand. You can tie us up. You can torture us. You can put us through every hellish trial your sick imaginations can come up with. But you'll never defeat our spirit. Supermaster really needs to make a, um, a, uh, a saw type horror based choice adventure game. No, no, no. My sister? Oh, God. All I have to do is betray my own sister, and you'll let me go free to fight another day. God damn you! God damn you for forcing me to make this impossible choice! I'm actually, I'm actually tempted to try this. Yeah, sure, take her. Just to do something different. I can't believe it's coming to this. But the resistance is far more important than any one life. Innocent or not. My sister or not. Take her! Take her, goddamn you, before I change my mind! But just know, I will hunt you down and kill every single one of you until my very last breath on this earth. That's then an awesome line. With your lives, the ultimate price for, for, for doing bad guy stuff. And then he messed it up. <laughs> Man? I was just like really feeling the moment, you know? Thought I'd bring a little bit of that method acting magic. Well, maybe like ask me next time, okay? Okay, sure. Sorry, Chris. Oh, we got a relationship. It's important, Jaime. Every word, each and every last little syllable. I get it. I get it. How do we do, Linda? Dang, how the heck was I supposed one? to know that? Uh, let me check the gate. Can check the gate on these little super eights um no actually the lens doesn't come off so somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library i'm just trying to take the craft seriously the craft geez louise <laughs> so are, are we good or what yeah i mean it looked great how did the blood gag look um 
Well... Linda, you did get the blood gag, didn't you? I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. <laughs> I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? You kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, oh Linda! <laughs> I told you, I wanted a wide close-up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting. Not just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera, too. And there's no such thing as a wide close-up. Or an extreme shot. Or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone even care that I'm the director? I like our other outfit a little bit better. Uh, defensive. Man, I, I feel mad that I screwed up her relationship already. Defensive. No, 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 I don't want that! Of course. I don't want that! No, no! Oh! Ah, that's like the complete opposite thing I wanted to do! I wanted to make our relationship stronger! This is redemption one. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Uh, through the power of magic and time travel, we're gonna fix all the mistakes. Yes. One of the things that really sucks, which I had forgotten about, is technically the game is thinking this is only our second playthrough because my first playthrough essentially got erased as far as the cutting room floor goes. So the choices that I make here even though i already made them the game doesn't know i already made them so in the so the cutting room floor doesn't have them and the unfortunate thing is when we make the choice about which place to go to i'm gonna have to go to the same place i went to my ruthless run which means i never unlock that other branch oh well that's 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 just you know i'm i, I it's fine it's fine uh compliant i don't think i've ever said compliant before i think both times i said defensive Linda, when you're making movies, you got to respect the director's vision. And this is Chris's film, so. Don't worry about it. Let's just go again, OK? You did it your way. Now we do it my way. Hold still. Let me clean you off. Chris is happy on this one. If we don't, you can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Uh, kind of like Chris's other oh, outfit it's like better. Spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. Mm, worth you it. guys want me to leave? All right, all right. On your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going again. I like Tommy's better. Okay, sounds I like, good. I like, I like, I like Tommy's current <laughs> outfit better. I like Linda's other right, outfit better. Everybody settle. It's kind of weird. And hold. And action. Uh, uh. <laughs> Fuck! No! Oh, dude, that is not good. What do you think you're doing in here? Oh, uh, hi, Mr. Green. Sheriff. Sheriff, right. Now, what Sorry. do we do here so we don't How many times have I told get the bribe? To stay away from this place. We were just in the middle of a take. A take? For our film production. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this is where the big climax happens. This is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. And so we just see him uninjured. <laughs> yeah. Unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail. I suggest you, Miss Castle, and Miss... Dixie. Miss Tammy D. Dixie. <laughs> Miss Gordon. Miss Christine Gordon. I suggest you immediately vacate the premises. And you do not, under any circumstances, sit one foot back here in the Cedar Still Mill. Ever. Reluctant or apologetic? Um. I'm, I'm afraid Chris is going to get mad at me if we don't say reluctant. I don't want to make Chris mad at me. But we can always turn down the bribe, can't we? Oh man, 
Sir, we're, we're really sorry. We, we didn't realize we were doing anything wrong. We'll clear out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hi, May. We've got a movie to finish. I know, but we have to do what the sheriff says. He's the sheriff. I don't care who he is. He And we're very happy to do whatever the sheriff asks. And, uh, don't forget to clean up. Now, if we say frustrated, I think that may lead us to the bribe. Without a working camera or a location, I guess that's it then, huh? The camera just needs to be fixed. Okay, Sam likes the us. Hell crawled up his ass. No, he's not so bad. Usually. And I don't I don't think we lost anything against says, Chris. Right? Really? We didn't gain anything, but we didn't lose anything. Finish the movie when we get back to the garage. That's good. Yeah, I, I'll take that. out sir now don't you try and pull any fast ones on me I'll be watching yes sir what is he doing out here anyway just randomly comes out here I mean, I don't think anyone reported there's a couple of kids by the mill. Probably no one here. But he just randomly decides to show up at the mill to make sure there's no one in there. Chapter 3, a curiosity on Main Street. dramatic it's not like we've got a real deadline Ugh, who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline <laughs> gothic i like it hey what are these oh i got those for us all to wear when we shoot surprise wait you guys are both acting so it'll just be me so you'll be like our ambassador. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Hmm. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. <sighs> Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. I was just a baby. How did I anything? not... Now, How did I not ever connect those dots? all about this whole serial killer business. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Oh, yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell yeah, I would. Linda, tell me about the steel mill killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. 
So what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, uh, I don't know if we... Frank Stone. Huh. So Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like our steel mill where we were just shooting like an hour ago? That's mm -hmm. the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. Probing or puzzle? It's called probing. Who are the victims? Just people. Some from the town. Some were never identified. The killings were random. There was no pattern. Like, how many are we talking? No one knows for sure. Because they never found the bodies. They found parts. Excited or excited, right? Do you know what this means? That way you need a new location? <laughs> no, dummy. That we already have the best location. How do you... Think about it. Our movie shot in a real-life murder mill? You can't buy that kind of publicity, Buster. Oh. People are actually going to want to see this thing. We're going to be, like, totally famous. Okay, sure. We might get some butts in seats, but like, what if they don't like what they see? Then we just gotta make sure these last couple of scenes are gonna blow the top of their heads off. Ah, uh, fuck! But not if our fucking camera is fucking broken! <laughs> hey, why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? So, yeah, the thing is, I kinda spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. <laughs> Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance, we're kind of shit out of luck. What? Uh, um. You want a piece of me too? Empathetic. In honor of hey, Jimmy okay? and the pulsating mask. What's up? Nothing, it's fine. Mm, didn't sound fine. As soon as mom got sick, I dropped everything in my whole life in New York to come home and help. And all he does is act like I'm not doing enough. It's like he doesn't even care what I had to give up. I'm sure he's just worried about mom. Yeah, so am I. That's why I'm here. The least he could do is try not to drown me like I'm 16. Totally. What is he thinking, right? Sorry, I guess I just needed to blow off some steam. I get it. The last thing mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, and you've been doing an incredible job. I mean it. I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. What? What? Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's <laughs> the Jaime bell? My... Darling Don't brother that. has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No, I'm just speaking from the heart. Okay, what do you need from me? Um, well, we're making this movie and we're so close to finishing, but we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do. What else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. How much do you need? A hundred bucks. Uh, 2010? What's interesting is uh, I was given a general outline of, like, things to maybe do by Arthas Lichin. Thank you so much, Arthas, for everything. And for Jonathan and y'all, just everyone, Techno Trouble, everyone, thank you all so very much. And for those that didn't mention, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, it says, uh, he says, take $20 from Bonnie. So, let's go for the 20 Just like 20 bucks would probably cover it. 20 bucks. That ain't pocket change. That's how much camera repairs cost these days. Seriously? We're trying to make this thing good, and good don't come cheap. Hmm. Huh. You guys really needed to finish the film? Yeah. Come on, Bonnie. 
All right, I'm in. <sighs> Who am I to stand in the way of art? You won't regret it. You're the best. Oh, and I get the garage tonight. What? Why? Because I need it. This is where all our editing stuff is. Well, that's the deal. Take it or leave it. Uh, all right, it's a deal. Try not to waste it. Don't worry. Hope it's a good use. You all right there? You're looking a little uh, wiggly. I'm fine. It's just uh, <laughs> what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint flavored real blood. Oh, it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You washed it all off like right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's like actually poisonous, do you? It's a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone could go. Yeah, any time. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. What? What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Do curiosity shops even repair cameras? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rad old junk, too. Your call, Chris. We're going to the drugstore first. Drugstore. I don't want to risk missing our chance. Are you sure? Curiosity shop does look pretty cool. We can check it out after. Fair enough. So, who's going to do the honors? The honors? Talk to the clerk. You're afraid to talk to a drugstore clerk? <laughs> what? No, I'm just... You just don't want to haggle, do you? Hey, I already completely debased myself to get the money from my sister. Encouraging. I know you're all nervous to talk to the big, scary drugstore clerk, but just... Think about it like acting, which you're great at. Uh, you know how to act, too. Yeah, but people around here actually like you. I don't know. That's the secret ingredient for most celebrities. Anybody can act. Well, some people can act. But making <laughs> people like you is like a superpower. Well, I am pretty charming. That's why I love you. Mwah. Yeah, brother. <laughs> leg, you're going to knock him dead. Jamie appreciates okay. your praise. Keep that up, and his head's not going to fit out the door. All right. Yeah, um, I got a weird one for you. <laughs> this camera, um, so it's not pretty. The lens is busted, and I don't know if you guys are able to help with something like that, but we really need to get it fixed. So I just figured I'd come in and check. Monologue shoe, so, four names yeah. for a trial. She tells me not to rush. You could take a look at it and uh, let me know if it's something you can help us with. Yeah, what else is here? Some right here. Best luck, Barry. Movies? Really? Must be a slow news day. Best luck, Barry. The Dark Mythology of the Lost Movie by Joe Blue. These, there are these films that have been. Lost over time, which in the absence had developed an aura of mystery. These lost movies have fascinating film historians and conspiracy theorists alike. Not because they wish to marvel at the reports of the actors or craft of the director, but because they believe through whatever remnants of footage they can cobble together, they may gain a glimpse into a darker reality realized only by the cameras. Most associated with the production have distanced themselves from the rumors around Dean's disappearance. Hey, it's Dean Winchester! The most persistent which is that in the surviving footage of any scene involving Dean, one never fails to observe a strange rolling fog in the desert background. Oh, Silent Hill. Perhaps it really was something lurking in the desert waiting for its moment to come forth and claim the film star for its own twisted machinations. I may better wield his charm to get us a good deal.
We're so close to finishing the movie. Okay, nothing over here. Check around this way. I could so find a place for these in Murder Mill. If we had any cash to spare, which we absolutely do not. Alberto Firecrackers, Bull Nickel Bank. We have some extra cash, baby. Got $20 instead of 10. Kid. I hope they're found. Missing Benny Baker, 24480 from Garfield. Brown hair, brown eyes, height four foot, foot, foot six inches, weight six five pounds. The guy didn't find this missing youth. Please call Cedar Hill Sheriff Department. Missing person. Why are people missing now, though? I mean, I guess you could still have missing people, but I mean, that almost seems like it's tied to a story, and I don't know what that story is. All right, well, I'm going to go and put a cut here as I try to get a top score. So I will see you all in just a few. Yes, he does Jaime's high score. All right, we just got the high score. We haven't died yet either. It took about, I don't know, 70 minutes. Uh, I realized a little too late that you don't need to mash the button. My thumb was starting to hurt, and then I realized you could just hold the button down, and it's so much easier. It's so much easier. Okay, let's go ahead and die. We've already got the high score. That's all I really need. Oh, I can just back out. Okay. Oh, it's still playing. Look at this. Let's go ahead and get the game over. Chris, 5,360. Aha. Sweet. Okay, I don't think there's anything else left in this store. I already went around. I wonder if Linda's found anything cool. What's that? Oh, that was the pickup of the, uh... No, that, that's not the pickup of the newspaper. There's something else here. Oh, right. Fell into the fear trap. Uh, some sort of code. Demolition scheduled this year. Whoa. Our movie is going to be the last record of the mill. Lightbringer Estate. Cedar Hills Renewal enters new phase. Move fast to secure a place today. Lightbringer Estates has announced the next stage in the transformation of Cedar Hills with new homes planned on the land around the site of the former Cedar Steel Mill. Explo exploratory visits to Old Cedar Steel uh, site by Lightbringer's expert teams of engineers and architects have already commenced ahead of demolition schedule for late this year and construction beginning early 81. Maybe that's why uh, Sam was hanging around the mill because checking up on the demolition prospects. Well, that advances. Go. Okay, that doesn't advance. How's it going? I'm working on it. Okay, hmm. that didn't advance. At the same time, hmm. Man, if this is a bust and we can't finish the movie, fucking tragic. Yeah. I think if the world's deprived of murder mill, there's an outside chance it'll keep turning. Come on. Linda, what's the deal? All right, look. Just be straight with me. What's the deal with you and Jaime? What do you mean? All that lovey-dovey shit back there. Uh, you said, I love you. Because I do. Uh, I said I love him because I love him. You met two months ago. 
And you've only been going out for like three weeks. Don't and be you're jealous. Already throwing down the L word? Come on. Whoa, easy there, mom. That's just. It's kind of fast. That's all I'm saying. Excuse me, young ladies, but is there something I can help you with? Oh, hey, you. Hi, Robert. Hey, Robert. You quit working at the library? Ah, those are just volunteer hours. Now you're looking at an honest to goodness working stiff. Oh, income security is a very attractive quality in a man. So is access to book reservations. <laughs> <laughs> so, bad news, good news, super good news kind of situation. Bad news first, always. The bad news is they can't fix the camera. Ah, 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 ah. Don't you want to hear the good news? What's the good news? The good news is Robert Greene's working in the drugstore now. Ta-da. Uh, we already knew that. Yeah, for like at least 30 seconds. Keep up with the times, Jaime. Gotta keep up. <laughs> so, wait, what's the super good news? Oh, yeah. I got some of these puppies. <laughs> Firecrackers? Dude, you didn't just spend all the money on those, did you? <laughs> just like five bucks. That's a lot. Don't worry. Still got plenty left for the camera. You better. Curiosity shop's probably still open if you want to see if they'll fix it. Some of your money yeah, was spent on fire. Over there. What's the camera for? Dude, we're making the most killer horror movie the world's ever seen. No shit. Well, we were until your dad broke our camera. He did what? It was an accident. We were shooting at the old mill and he was not pleased. <sighs> I'm not surprised. He's always got his eye on that place. So we never had those before. He already kicked us out once, but I don't think there's anything on the planet that's going to stop our director from finishing her magnum opus. I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but there's more than one way into that mill. Heck yeah. Oh, really? Oh, if you really? If your situation sorted out, you let me know. Message received. Let's just check it out. It's not like we have anything to lose. Come on. Man, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Does the glitch Don't still happen me. here? It may not be a glitch, what it may be real. Uh, deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques then we hit the jackpot check out the wares oh cameras uh these look like they've seen better days they're not gonna put the best ones in the window we gotta look inside shall we if this is a trap and we're walking right into the lair of the tchotchke chopper I'm selling you out first chance I get. <laughs> Likewise, compadre. Let's just take a look around and see what we can find. How can you find anything in a place like this? Getting lost is half the fun. M maybe nobody's home. Bummer. I was hoping to show off how good I am at haggling. And again, if we find a camera, we could just walk on out with it. That's not, I'm not saying we should just steal something. Let's be compliant. Yeah, you're right. I guess we can't finish the movie if we all get sent up the river. I don't think they send people up the river for shoplifting. Why don't we spread out? Start over there. See that something right there? I wonder if we'll also get the glitch where uh, Jaime goes crazy about something coming. So that was really, really cool. Grab mask. Oh. I don't know if that's really supposed to be cute. What is the point of constantly pointing those everywhere? I think I'm about to find something and it's not. I don't know what that is, 
but it looks painful. It's amazing. Dead by Daylight Hunter weapons, I think. Okay, I don't know why we have a comedian in there. Is there a Dead by Daylight killer that has a smiley face? Wait a second. Reap fast. Oh, the phone. That's the same corridor where you turn on the TV in like chapter, what, 10, 11? Remember you turn on the TV and then you go into the back room and you find the film stuff? That's the same exact corridor. Things you recognize is second time, third time. Well, actually, it's my second time, really. Point of the game. Whatever. So, I've been thinking. About gothic romance novels? Yes. But no, about the movie. I think we could really strengthen the narrative if we just shoot an extra scene. Why does that advance time? kind of extra scene? There's, I don't know, a scene where they talk a little bit about who they're trying to save and, you know, why. Hmm. I like it. It's a good idea. <laughs> Thanks. Imagine Trap. cuddling up to that at night. The smiling successor of the Macmillan S. Okay. <clears throat> so that's the advancement. If you were the that. proprietor of this shop, where would you put the cameras? Surely there's something that can help us amongst all this junk. But the Raven nevermore. Please tell me Jaime's uh, glitched out. It's such a cool thing. Let's see, I'm over here. Dear Mr. Olsen, Whoever owned this place before had some lousy luck. This letter will serve to confirm the agreement regarding the sale of Ned's Nutty Knacks. All relevant legal paperwork has been signed and you should receive payment by month's end. My client also wanted to extend their sympathies to your recent hardships. If there is any less to be drawn from this, it's that fire, theft, and casualty are not things that only happen to other people. Hopefully moving on from Cedar Hills will give you some distance from the bereavement. And after all, time is a great healer, and perhaps one day you'll find yourself able to adopt another cat. Ugh. Respectfully, our Straker. So recently passed in the hands of a new. Where did Jaime go? Jaime. The heck is Jaime? Okay. My first playthrough, he glitches out. Second playthrough, he completely disappears. Where the heck is he? Yeah, he's completely disappeared. Guess we have the first death of the game. Jaime completely disappearing into the void. Although we haven't seen the body yet, so it doesn't mean he died. So strange. Where is he? Ah! Jesus! Uh. I'm glad to see you're all having fun. 
But if you insist on using my store as a playground, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to take it outside. You really should take oh her off, gosh, though. I'm, no joke. I'm so sorry. Just make sure you put it back where you found it. Wait, we're just looking for something to replace this? Oh, I see. We're making a film, and we broke it. Got anything that could help us? With all the cameras in the window, we just thought we'd see. There was one thing. I'm just not sure I still have it. I'll have to look in my back room for a few moments, if you don't mind waiting. We don't mind. I'll just be a minute. Ten to one, she brings us a photo camera. <laughs> or a telescope. Shh. Give her a minute. Comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm gonna be like, so pumped. <laughs> You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. Yes. Whoa. But may I? I insist. It's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, how much are you asking for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? The training is going to say $15 this time. 15 bucks. Ha! Ha ha ha. Appreciative. Okay, sure. I think that seems reasonable for something like this. Thank you very much. Thanks for finding us a camera. Oh, it was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Yeah. Yep, that's us. Ominous. I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional, and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise. A new timeline. A new chance. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? These walls have eyes. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Guess I just dozed off a bit. Wait, what happened to Augustine again? She left. L left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? <laughs> thousand. Oh. Thousand feet is the average length of film in a movie. 
Uh, oh, nice. Guess you were all playing it close to the vest before, huh? It's not my film. I, I didn't. I just worked on it. Didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Cursed film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So all of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Because it's so rare, only a few people know for sure. So is it. If Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it, <laughs> she's gonna have to pay up. Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. We're here, someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well, first rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponents. I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around, or want to peek behind the curtain? <laughs> uh... Commanding. What are you waiting for? You know, the way she says, what are you waiting for in the text? Well, the, the way the text is written, sounds almost like it's a dismissive, like, com comment, like an insulting one. Well, now, this but is the way she said it is almost playful. statement kind of room, you know what I mean? Huh. New Augustine got cash, but not like this kind of cash. <laughs> sounds like you didn't scout your mark as well as you thought. In business, we don't call them marks. Hustling is a racket, not a business. I wouldn't underestimate my scouting skills, if I were you. But rattling around up here, that could be mutually beneficial. Curious. Okay. Then tell me everything you know about Augustine. <laughs> Augustine Lieber. A lead collector of obscure cultural artifacts. She pretends to be all business, but plays a long game with her cards close to the vest. She's hard to pin down. And? Ever since I arrived, I've kept my eye on things. Observations, behavior, decor. I've been building a profile. Which is? Lieber is no ordinary collector. She likes dark stuff. Well, really duh. dark stuff. She wants our film. She'll stop at nothing to get it. Very impressive. Okay. Now it's your turn. My turn for what? I told you what I know, and now you go. I think you pretty much covered it. Hey, uh, just catching up. So, what have you guys found? Not much. But the night's young. Not as young as you think. Let's keep looking around. For the atrium. Can't deny this place would make an incredible film location. I love your outfit, by the way. Well, thanks. It's Italian. Italian. Well, shoes are Italian, and a belt. I got a cheat from a guy. He's got a guy who's got a pants guy. So I got these pants from his guy's guy. Had them tailored just right by the other guy I know who also got me the blazer, which is like a super limited VIP club edition. I don't want to interrupt him. But you want to know a secret? 
Sure. Found the turtleneck in a second-hand shop. <laughs> Scandalous. Right? <laughs> Don't tell me. Oh, you can be sure of that. Huh. Now that was a curious sound. Archibald McMillan. Who is he? Blueprints. Well, hello. It's like every room in the house. Yeah, I'd say this goes a little beyond your typical security. What do you mean? I get the sense our host just has a lot of valuable property and likes to be keenly aware of everyone's comings and goings. I don't really see the zoom in anywhere. Why is that one offline? The one that says no signal. Interesting. Ah, yes. Let's check out the other floors. Good thinking. Wait. H hold on a second. What? Before all this goes any further, I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Um, well... It's no secret, really. Um, after my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie, what was your mom's name? Both, or... Was it Bonnie Rivera? Yeah, it... How did you know that? Psychic powers. You look just like her. Did you know my mom? <laughs> a long time ago whole other lifetime her younger brother Jaime was one of my closest friends uncle Jaime I am um, I never met him I hadn't heard that Bunny had passed yeah it was pretty sudden wow daddy that's it's quite sad very touching <laughs> comforting I'm so sorry you had to go through that. It's never easy to lose someone you love. Thanks. Lucky for me, it wasn't my first rodeo. <sighs> Bonnie. I wish I'd stayed in touch with her. <clears throat> Weren't you wondering where both of our film strips came from? I don't suppose you'd like to enlighten me. Of course. And? Well, I can't just tell you for free, can I? This kind of information is very valuable. What's your price? You know what? I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. Got set upstairs. Cool statue. Hmm, missing a piece, though. What? Whoa. I didn't mean to cut someone off there. My bad. Look at the metalwork. It's beautiful. The face of evil. Sensationalist trash. Dang it, I don't want to open it. Sam I want Green to read that. took down Frank Stone. I could write a better book than this. The fateful night I had spent one of my deputies over to check in on things. Not my first choice. Flatfoot was from out of state and a little green for my liking. But all I had to do was hold the line and report back on anything suspicious. But when Tommy called, I knew that this was it. Standing before the furnace, I thought I stepped into the fiery depths of hell itself. And there was Stone, standing on the platform like a twisted gargoyle, a tiny bundle of innocence held in its death grip. I am not afraid to admit I was scared. I had only a moment to act before all was lost, so I drew my gun. Took a deep breath and made a solid prayer that would, my aim would strike too. Stone's corpse was even cold before a whole bunch of out of towners descended on Cedar Hills trying to grab their piece of the action. Lawyers, reporters, Robin Eckers, you name it. More than a few weren't satisfied with what they found. 
They wanted to make a conspiracy out of it. Said he must have had an accomplice to do what he did. Me? I don't buy it. Never have. That's because I know firsthand that he acted alone. Saw it with my own eyes. So to all those who claim otherwise, they say this. One monster was enough for Cedar Hill. Oh, well, there was a second monster that you completely missed. Mr. Sheriff Boyd I Kusich. should check on Maddie. Can't be easy meeting someone from her mom's past. I wonder yeah. if this... Now what would you do if it was you here instead of me? <laughs> no way. You'd be climbing the walls looking for a way out. Looks like it opens with a key. It's dead? Psh, not in a million years. No way. <laughs> I think I got everything here. Yeah. Maddie? Can I talk to Maddie? Maddie? Augustine has a uh, unique collection. I've never seen anything like this stuff. Maddie? There we go. You sure would get a kick out of this place. Like that wasn't working for some reason. And then you'd probably get or I'm an idiot. Out of this place One of the two. To yourself. Who are you talking to? Mm, uh, no, I, I wasn't. I could hear you. I was talking to my mom. To Bonnie. I was in Berlin, you know, at school when I heard she was sick. But it was my midterms, and she said I should just come home when I finished. So I did. But by then it was too late. She died while I was over the Atlantic. It all happened so fast, it doesn't feel like she's gone. So I just kind of pretend like she isn't. She was a good talker. <laughs> yeah, she was. Hey, look at this. This was just last summer. I know you said it had been a really long time, but can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? Ah, uh, gosh. Well... She was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. <laughs> Even after I got to know her. She did everything she wanted to do, and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like Mom. Any good stories? Uh, nostalgic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. It was a long time ago. We were just kids making a movie. Jaime, Chris, and me. Everything's still so fuzzy about what happened, but there's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. Clear as a bell. That night, we were on our way home from picking up a new camera. We were driving past the Rivera's house. The garage door was wide open, full of light. And the craziest fucking sound you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction. And right in the middle of it all was Bonnie. I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves. The only thing that mattered was that moment. Nothing else. That was your mom. Huh. Thank you. Hey guys. Look. What? I don't see anything. Ah! There! Right there! Oh my god, there's someone out there. Oh. 
serious. Oh, that's right, because we had the, uh, we saw the camera. I have a feeling Augustine expected something like this might happen. She's got this place wired with enough cameras she could catch a mouse. Good security probably means we're pretty safe. Dang right. it! Um, so I don't want to do that. Do you think we should find Augustine? Give her a heads up? Even if you wanted to tell her, good luck finding her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? There's artifacts all over the place. Right. So, if you were gonna have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. You've got a point. Can't we just knock? I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. Okay. All right, this seems like a good stopping point for today. Thank you everyone for all who have joined me on this venture on our redemption run of the casting of Frank Stone. Much appreciate you all. Much love. You are the number one YouTube community and all of YouTube. And I'm so glad that I can be with you. I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.